Hey everyone, it's Synth Designer back again with another video. Today I want to talk about how to make a kind of chill house type of beat. And I'm going to show you how to create some of these sounds using some of my presets that I have released on SynthDesigner.com. If you're new here, go to SynthDesigner.com right now and download these packs absolutely free. No signups required. And I'm going to show you how you can create kind of this chill house type of music and just some of the elements behind it. This is just a song I started working on recently and felt like showing kind of my thoughts behind it and just some of the ideas you can maybe use for your own music. So why don't we get right into it? So first things first with kind of chill house music, it tends to have kind of simpler drum beats and that's just what we have right here. Now you can make them a little bit more interesting later in the song, but to start off, you don't want anything kind of too in your face. So it's really important as with any genre to pick the right sounds. So here's the kick I have here. So it's got that nice punchy kind of kick to it, but also has that little bit of click to it as well. I wanted that to kind of come through. Chill house music has a lot of kind of like mid-low type of vibes, right, from the, the frequency range. So you want a little bit of a click to come through. Otherwise, that kick will really struggle to kind of cut through the mix. The other thing here, very simply, a nice open hat. Now you'll notice a lot of these elements are not fully mixed. This is just because I just started on this track and really just want to kind of get into elements first before getting into the mixing. I think once the song is finished, maybe I'll take you through everything again and maybe show off some of the, the mixing and the other elements. But first, let's just kind of get into this. So let's just look at this pattern here. And I have it at 118 here and just kind of a, a good tempo here. So something super simple, nothing complicated at all. Next, I wanted to kind of get the foundation aspects of it. You know, some people start with a bass line if that's what you have going, great. But I came up with the idea of having kind of an atmospheric kind of sound to it. So that is what we have first. So let's go to pattern three and let's look at the preset here. So again, we're on Serum here and this is from my preset pack, Chill Vibes Volume 2. It's just a pad called Lost Star. And as you can hear, it's got a side chain to it. And that is because I have Kickstart already on here. That allows that kick to come through because it's, of course, a side chain really ducks out of the way, right? And I really wanted to have kind of that kick coming through. And the other thing is I just kind of uh, took out some of the lows. It's a really, really kind of deep sound. And I don't need all those lows, especially when you start introducing the bass. So here it is. Just this great pad, right? And it has that kind of fifth element to it. So it's up semi seven semitones, which is the fifth in the key. And it's really filtered. It's not a moving filter or anything. As you can see, it has a lot of uh, reverb. The delay I took off because it was kind of getting in the way of the rhythm. So remember, if you have a delay and have a different rhythm to it and you put it on the side chain, then it can kind of mess up the rhythm. So don't be afraid just to take it off if, if that's what you need. And of course, right now I just have this stock reverb from Serum here, but I might later just have a dedicated reverb to it. We'll see how it goes. But let's just play the two elements together and see how those two sound. So very simple. A nice foundation to our chill house track here. That kick is coming through nicely and of course that pad is really 
kind of the foundation, the bedrock, if you will, of the sound. Next thing that comes through here is pattern four. And let's take a look at that. Actually, we, before we move on to that, let's go look at the chords here first. As you can see, the chords are pretty simple. There's not a ton going on in, in terms of uh, like the separation. I might play around with it, maybe add some, some octaves here and there. There's a few inversions. It's really kind of a descending chord line here, but pretty simple. It's in G sharp minor here. So let's just go back to pattern four now and take a look at that. I find when you're creating kind of those chill house sounds, you want to have a bedrock of kind of an atmospheric pad, and then you want something kind of more rhythmic. And that is what we have here in pattern four. Let's take a look at it. This is from Chill Vibes volume one. It's a super simple kind of pluck to it. Really nice sound to it. And this is actually something I automated here. So we're going to get into that, uh, the automation in a, mo in a moment, but let's just take a look at how to create this. You can see here, it's kind of got a pulse and a square and it's super simple. It's just kind of modulated by this uh, envelope here, this filter. It's got a tight filter because you don't want those highs coming through too much. So I cut it off at a, a steeper rate here. Other thing is we have some delay, as you can hear, a ping pong delay and reverb, as well as another filter. Really great sound just to use kind of as either uh, an accent. And as you see, you will see later, once the filter cutoff starts coming through, it develops more of a character as well, but it's a, a very kind of classic plucky sound without it being too harsh either. I have no current effects other than just this filter, or sorry, this EQ here. So let's listen to this part of the track and then let's notice how this filter automation starts to come through as well. Just taking that automation down now, the drums cut off, and we just have the pluckiness of it with the atmosphere. So as you can see, I all I did here was really just repeat the chords that we had before and nothing else. So a great way to kind of get started when you don't have any ideas, just start repeating chords and see how they kind of come together in different ways. So in this case, we have the sustained pad, but then we have a rhythmic element here. You don't have to come up with all new kind of chords or melodies or whatever. Just use the same chords, maybe cut out a note here or there, maybe add some more octaves if you like. I haven't played around with it yet. I might do that, but I really like the way it started off and it's a very basic kind of pattern as well. I didn't want to overload it with a lot of different kind of plucks because if you start kind of having a very consistent pluck that's just too many notes going on, then it's going to start sounding really kind of muddled. I wanted just kind of a cool rhythm to it, kind of something laid back. So that's why I have this pattern in particular. Let's just listen to it on its own. And that delay comes through nicely too. That's the other thing. It, by giving the notes space, you give the delay some room.
The other thing is I should mention, again, I might change later the reverb delay to something from a third party. I just wanted to kind of get the ideas out. So remember, don't get too bogged down in all the details. Use your stock reverbs, delays, whatever, compressors, then get into the finer details later. Don't get caught up into making a perfect sound right away. Otherwise, you'll lose some of the flow. Next thing I introduce here is this pattern here, which is the bass. So let's take a look at it. This is from an upcoming preset pack, actually. This is not out yet. This will be from Synthwave Essentials Volume 4, and I call this chord note sidechain, and you can guess why. Let's listen to the pattern. It's a really nice subby type of sound. Basic MG here with a triangle wave, a little bit distortion, which helps a little of those uh, upper harmonic come through, but I, I did cut it off a little bit more just because I want this just to be su the sub. I haven't decided if I'm going with a kind of a different bass line yet, but this is going to work just for the sub. Now let's listen to it come in here in the song. So that sub really adds the vibe of it, right? It's it's not overwhelming and keeping with that sidechain tempo, which I created just in Serum itself without using Kickstart here. So those elements really kind of complement each other. We have that sidechain element of the sub and the atmosphere, and then we have the plucks going. Next thing here that comes in is actually just a basic piano. And I wanted to kind of introduce kind of a different type of sound here. So we have those first 32 bars going where it's super simple. It's kind of just getting into the song, introducing different elements, and then we kind of have things pick up a little bit and introduce different kind of a, a different vibe to it. So let's just pick up from this part here and then we're gonna hear the piano of pattern six coming in. And we have the claps as well. So that piano adds a different kind of harmonic range. As you can see, again, I just copied the chords for simplicity's sake. I might change these up later. Maybe add a little melodic elements, little kind of different elements here and there. But again, I just want to keep it simple for now while adding an entirely different kind of sound. We have the plucky chords, we have the sustained kind of atmosphere, but there's nothing kind of in that upper mid range going on. And that's where the piano comes through right here. Uh, and the other thing is you heard the claps come in as well. That kind of elevates a little bit of the drums as well to a different level. And we'll see in a moment, I actually pick up the drums again with another type of uh, sample here. And we'll see another little element coming through here. So let's pick it up from the beginning of this piano. And then we're going to look into pattern eight first, see what this is. And this is, as you can see in the actual uh, playlist here, you can see it's just simple notes. It's following kind of the, the bass line of it, but it's really kind of meant to be kind of a background element. And let's listen to it. Let's listen to the actual pattern. Again, it's following the rhythm of it too, which is important. I have a delay here, very high in the mix. This is meant to just kind of be an accent and 
we have uh, Juno here, and then we have this saw wave, which is actually up an octave and seven semitones. Again, having those different elements not compete with each other because this is not going to be competing with the plucks, and it's going to be following the same rhythm with the delay. As you can see, it's on a quarter note delay, which is the same as the side chain. So let's just listen to this. Let's pick it up from here, from bar 33, and let's notice the sample drums coming in, and as well as pattern 8 here. So you can hear it. there's a little bit of a little bit more kind of interesting sounds coming through with that ear candy on pattern eight, as well as that sample drum loop there. Very simple drum loop, and I got this from Splice probably, and this just adds a little bit of that percussive element. Super simple. I'll have to EQ that a little bit later, but. I just wanted a little bit of a different element rather than just a simple four on the floor clap and kick. And that's what it introduces nicely without getting in the way. As you can hear that ear candy kind of adds a little bit. And now we have kind of a complete sound. The only thing is we're missing some melodic elements and I start to introduce those here. And I was thinking about a synth, but I found this cool sample here of a vocal let's listen to this so it has that melodic element remember you don't need a synthesizer necessarily to create melodies a lot of vocals have them and rather than having kind of specific words that need to go with something here they're just singing without using any kind of lyrics and really adding something so I've I'm not even decided whether I'm going to keep this, but I really felt like this could be an interesting element coming in. So let's pick it up from here and listen to how it works with the rest of the song. The good thing is I really felt like the vibes matched up here, even if it's not a perfect kind of melody or it's not matching the exact rhythm. I felt the vibes were really good. And this is an important aspect of creating kind of chill house music. You're really trying to match up the vibes more than anything. You can worry about all the little details afterwards. And then I might chop these up. Who knows? The last element I wanted to talk about to add a little bit more kind of melodic interest is pattern nine here. This is just a basic ARP. Again, I just copied the chords here and I set it up rather than using all of the notes. I think I took them out and just made them into threes here. So let's listen. This is from my Synthwave Essentials Volume 3 available right now. This is actually a pad, which is filling up a lot of space, and I did mess around with it a little bit. I think I had a little bit more reverb than before. Again, I added some kickstart to add to that pumping effect, and I took out a lot of the lows because it's an ARP, so we already have that atmosphere. We don't need another pad. So those are all the elements there, and it's really starting to come together. So what are the things that we introduced? We have that basis of the atmospheric pad. We have a piano. We have the ARP now. We have the vocals. We have the ear candy. We have that deeper bass. And of course, we have those plucky chords. So those are really kind of just some elements that you can think about. You, there's a lot more you can introduce into a song, but 
I think it really starts to kind of come together once you have all the elements in place. Now, this, the next step would be to kind of start mixing, adding little layers here and there, adding some interesting kind of notes of inflection here and there. But we really have the basis here. So let's just listen to it all the way through and kind of think about kind of all the elements coming together and how they all work with one another. So there you have it. There's the beginning of our chill house track. Let me know down in the comments what you think. What should I add to this song? What should I take out? What works? What doesn't work? Let me know as well if you want me to make kind of similar videos or any other types of videos at all. I'm always open to suggestions and of course go download the preset packs for free off of synthdesigner.com and I'll see you all next time.